NBC 15 News at 11 starts now. Facts certain that these three individuals were there. Now at 11, 10 days since a murder outside O'Grady's Pub in Madison, and police are releasing persons of interest who they hope can help solve this crime. Plus, one of three men accused of a graffiti spree in Madison is now facing charges with hate crime enhancers. And this weekend, MPD's Mounted Patrol celebrates the retirement of one of their horses. And guess what? You can be a part of that celebration. Good morning and thanks so much for joining us. I'm Amy Flukson. And I'm Christine Belport. Our big story today, police are searching for three people who may have information about the homicide outside O'Grady's Pub earlier this month. Police are calling them persons of interest. William Flowers, Billy Richmond and Travis Smith Jr. are wanted by police for unrelated charges. Police said they know these three men were present during the shooting of 30-year-old Martise Moore. Now I'm not going to suggest or infer that any one of these three individuals are necessarily the principal behind this crime. But I am suggesting that they have material knowledge and or involvement with the dynamics of this crime. Today is Moore's funeral. One of the men accused in a Madison graffiti spree is now facing charges with a hate crime enhancer. 20-year-old Timothy Arnold was arrested Wednesday outside Vilas Hall on UW campus. Arnold allegedly spray painted symbols throughout the UW campus and downtown Madison, causing more than $2,500 in damage. Police say the hate crime charges are for graffiti on a concrete wall outside a Jewish building on Langdon Street and for graffiti near the Kappa Alpha sorority where there are several members who are Jewish. Authorities say many have interpreted the graffiti is anti-Semitic. Arnold is not a student and they are working to ban Arnold from campus. Now two other men have been tentatively charged for several other graffiti incidents in central Madison. Frank Horton, Adam Ritchie were also arrested Wednesday. Police are searching for a suspect accused of attacking a homeless man. A 51 year old man was sleeping outside the Wisconsin Veterans Museum on Mifflin Street when the man attacked. The suspect reportedly victimized others sleeping near the victim and began beating the man when he could not empty his pockets. The victim was taken to the hospital with significant head injuries. The suspect is described as a black man, about 160 pounds, 5'1", and in his 20s. All right, it's weather time. Still have quite a bit of cloudiness out there. Temperatures have been rising slowly during the morning hours, as you would expect with clouds and northeasterly winds. The showers have moved out. Looks pretty quiet as we head through the afternoon hours. Right now, the temperature is at 46 degrees. North northeasterly winds at 12, and the wind chill currently 41. Here is that forecast through the afternoon. Mostly cloudy, 50 at noon, 54 at 4 p.m. Today's high, 54. We will have easterly winds or winds becoming easterly as we move through the late afternoon and into the evening hours. There is some rain in the forecast this weekend. There's also some sun in the forecast this weekend, and I'll have that forecast coming up. Charlie, thank you. Now to our Packers coverage. The Packers addressed the defense with the 27th overall pick in last night's draft. The Packers selected 20-year-old defensive tackle Kenny Clark out of UCLA. Clark joins a list of Packer draft picks coming out of UCLA, including Dayton Jones and Brett Hundley. The Packers will have two picks today as the draft second and third rounds will be held. First pick last night was quarterback Jared Goff from Cal, who's going to the Rams, and North Dakota State quarterback Carson Wentz, who is going to the Eagles. Happening today, the Sauk County Courthouse and West Square building will be temporarily closed for today. Law enforcement, along with fire and EMS, will be conducting emergency drills. Now, the drills will be held. They started at 8 this morning, and gonna, they're going to be running until noon today. You may also see officers with weapons drawn during this time, but remember, this is just a drill. If you plan to head downtown tomorrow, expect some delays as runners and walkers will take part in the Crazy Legs Classic. Participants will start on the Capitol Square and finish at Camp Randall. Traffic won't be able to cross Wisconsin Avenue or State Street from 945 to 1115 in the morning. Gorham, Johnson and Dayton Streets will also be impacted. Tomorrow is the Mifflin Street Block Party. 
This year, it'll only be one night concert at the Orpheum, opposed to an all-day event. Madison Police will be upping their forces for the event. Last year, the department gave out 40 tickets and spent nearly $90,000 in overtime. Tourists spent nearly $12 billion in Wisconsin last year. That's according to a report released today. That amount is an increase of $500 million from two years ago. Last year marked the sixth straight year of increased spending. In health news, some good news this morning for you wine and coffee lovers out there. Researchers found these, along with yogurt, fruits, and vegetables, help create diversity in intestinal bacteria. Studies have shown people with a wider variety of gut bacteria have better digestive health. They are also less likely to be obese or have mood disorders. On the other side of the spectrum, sugary drinks, carbohydrates, and whole milk were linked to lower levels of intestinal diversity.